This has never been an easy place. It was the Paddy's Market, where a man would sell the shirt off his back to feed his wains. Existing on the hope, he'd earn a shilling to buy it back the next week. As empty as the rusty, jaggy tuna can, as sad as they black boots, against all the odds, still shiny, pointing in two different directions. Like somebody ran for their life when the final word come through and this gleaming silver gate with double padlocks ended 200 year a history. A row of sharp swords, the Kunsel's defences. I wouldn't have mind so much if they just left it empty. The ghosts suchin' in the wind. What sticks and macro is the plan. The redevelopment into artist studios and cute wee shops. Have you seen Camden Market these days? Aye, right. Sanitised. I'd rather hear a midden. There's an honesty about shite. <laughs> a bit of Glasgow's culture, some will say, and tears will fall and hairs will grey. A chance for someone to lose a purse, a chance to get mugged and see the nurse, to buy broken goods, go home and curse. A bit of Glasgow's culture, someone will say, just try not to be there at the end of the day. Second-hand socks, only a pound, and the sights and the smells and the sound. A chance to get some old pants that someone has found that lie in a pile and dug dirt on the ground. The essence of working class Glaswegian culture, I hear someone pray. Surely we can do better than this, someone like me will say. Thank you. Welcome to the Sartorial Emporium. Paddy's Bargain Bonanza Extravaganza. I'll sell you love letters from another time. Brass horses from your granny's hearth, keepsakes for you to discard. The sincerest of souvenirs, crystal vases reflecting light, mementos of love and other nostalgic conceits. The market's long gone and me, I'm obsolete. You folks think you know me? Well, take a closer look. I ain't no dodgy dealer, no counterfeit crook. I'm a hard-working mum with five mouths to feed. My dad's an alcoholic, my ma can't read. We always buy organic, grow our own fruit and veg, live in a villa by the botanics, pursuing every opportunity for self-enhancement. Landed lucky in Hindland School catchment. Holidays in the south of France, regular exposure to yoga, vitamins A, C, D and E, omega-3s, a preventative approach to strokes, cancer <laughs> and cardiovascular disease. It's just once in my life if somebody would ask me what I thought, or even say, please. It's the changing face of Glasgow. The Commonwealth pretends to keep us down and out. They built this big steel fence. Kicked the traders out, took away their pride. Now that I've set out my stall, I've got something to confide. I won't be getting in the council's way, because I've already passed over to the other side. Hey. Patrick used to be a friend of mine. His market dealt in stocks and shares, discounted trading and derivatives. Patrick was a bandit in a bespoke, bespoke cut suit who traded in deception, despair and greed and so was honoured as an asset to the state. So instead, I took up with his cousin Paddy. <laughs> Paddy's place wasn't quite as smart as Patrick's, full of deadbeats, rejects and derelicts. Just my kind of place. <laughs> uh, I felt at home there. Paddy's goods were open to the wind and rain. They lay scattered in puddles in the mud and dirt. You bought and sold stuff at Paddy's out of desperation, out of need. That 
That's how I know Paddy's Market's still around somewhere and Patrick's one day will come tumbling down. Because it's true what the man said. The man they built the empty church for just up the road. You have to choose, he said, between your money or your soul. And the first will be last. And the last will be first. This city itches like a dusty best suit picked up at Paddy's Market for a pound. Then with a shock I find my wedding ring, squashed ellipse and a black dent on one side in its top pocket and a Scottish fiver crackling in the lining. I wear my days loosely, I dream in a broad. The council took Paddy's and put up a gate. Through the metal bars, a pair of black boots, like yours on our wedding day, are lying on their sides. Freedom's not just given, it must be bought and sold. Well, the Irish boys came over 200 years ago. They didn't have much money, but they were in the know. They didn't weep. They didn't become forlorn. They united together. Paddy's Market was born. They united together. They united together. They united together. Paddy's Market was born. Setting up their stalls near Glasgow Green, where the goods were needed as can be seen. They were selling clothes and they were getting down. And the poor people came from all over the town. Yes, the poor people came. Poor people came and the poor people came from all over the town. Down. They came to the bridge gate in 1935 and they made this shit back lane come alive. It's a return to Victorian morality. The poor are still there, but we won't see it. The locking of the gates is a clean up of the city, because Paddy's Market wasn't all that pretty. Paddy's Market, Paddy's Market, it's the truth, Paddy's Market wasn't that pretty. Now the gates are locked and all their labours no longer disturb the High Court, their neighbours. But stray breezes blow where once were stalls, and somehow the ghost of the past still calls in Paddy's Market. Thank you. Hey. Um, can I give you Sheila Templeton? Hey.